And again, like I always say, what's been productive for me has been as slow as you can retrieve and still get this thing to wobble. And that's, I think, a hurdle that took me a long time to get over when I was still learning how to throw and catch with the Lucky Craft was, I thought I was doing it slow, but in reality, I was retrieving way too fast. So my encouragement to newcomers is if you're throwing a Lucky Craft, if you think you're going slow, try going slower. And uh, if you think that, hey, this is way too slow and it's not wobbling, just, just see, oh, there we go, fish on. Oh, off, off, off. Ooh, got a short bite there, so. Um, yeah, so my encouragement to you guys uh, that are still, oh, he came back. And uh, let's see if it's a flat one, I'm not sure. Oh, it's a tiny halibut. So we're not even gonna go, oh, it's, we got a really ambitious halibut, but it just shows you the effectiveness of this lure. Oh, double up. <laughs> very, very productive morning. Oh, there we go. Fish on. Oh, another, another hatchery halibut. Uh, one of these days we'll get a bigger one. Uh, thank you for letting me catch you, buddy. Yeah. Another baby. All right, well, I've caught three halibut the size of my Lucky Craft this morning. <laughs> but like I said, I'll take it, man. What a blessing. Thanks for letting me catch you, buddy. Oh yeah, fish on. Yeah. Let's see how, it's another small little shaker. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. It's small, but just huge compared to the ones I was catching. <laughs> All right. So how about number three, I think. And all really small shakers, but all really, really fun. Which, oh, this one's gonna be tricky to get out. Oh, there we go, we're good. Thanks for letting me catch you, guy. Oh, fish on. Still small, I think my drag was just a little bit loose, but better than uh, the previous three. <laughs> Let's get eyes on him. Oh, still small. <laughs> it's cause, uh, it's cause I'm like such a finesse fisherman. I keep my drag loose and then the rod is, is, a, is a soft rod too. All right, fellas, so here's halibut number four. So it's turning into, a, I would say, like, you know, a, a productive session. Oh! Splashed all over the place. Fish on! Another small one. Halibut number five of the day. And another pancake, I think. Uh, yep, yeah, another pancake. Yes! No skunk for Benji. That thing bit. And I finally got bit. Please land. Please land. Please land. Oh, that bit pretty close too. We'll see what it is. Hopefully it's a halibut. I don't know. It doesn't feel like a halibut to be honest with you, but he's fighting. He's definitely always, it's not, it's not a small fish. He's not even coming up. Not letting me see who, what it is. And he's actually pulling. Whoa, 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 whoa. He's fighting really hard. Ah, it's a white sea bass. But holy, was not expecting this. There you go, eh? He's good. That one's strong. All right, this little pocket here has fish in here, for sure. Just that little ghost, but maybe there's a bigger one in here. Oh yeah, second straight cast. Oh yes, come on. 
Second straight cast. There's a school of sea bass in here, guys. He's right here. There we go. He's still fighting to stay. Got him. Almost a, almost a carbon copy. Man, I cannot believe. I tell you what, man, this is another perfect example, man. The grind is real. And those who stick with it are rewarded. Number three. And this one feels bigger, guys. This one definitely feels bigger. Third white sea bass. This is crazy. This is absolutely crazy. Yeah, it's a zippered belly. There's a zippered belly right there. That's the main identifier for white sea bass. It's right where they've been hitting. There must be a bait ball in here. Another one. What oh, this? Fourth white sea bass. Fourth white sea bass. In like seven casts. This is Lucky Craft, baby. You guys know the drill. You guys know what works for me. And this one, this one's taking some drag. Can you believe it, guys? The fourth white sea bass. There's a school of these 20-inch fish just swimming around. Number four, white sea bass. Fifth, fifth one, third cast in a row. Third cast in a row, guys. That one hit hard. Can you believe that third cast in a row? Fifth white sea bass. Keep your line tight, especially right here when the waves come and crash. All right, he's gone. All right, I'm fishing until my leader falls off and I lose my lucky craft. I don't have time to retie. Five white sea bass, guys. Almost consecutively. Just a slow retrieve. I'm not even jerking the rod. Just a slow wobble in and they're hitting it. Got to get them all? <laughs> oh, oh, there we go. Sixth one. Sixth white sea bass. Yeah, these are short fish, but still so much fun to fight and one of the best fishing days of my life. <sighs> there we go, it's number seven. It's just so fun. You gotta be kidding me. Number seven, we're gonna try to get to 10. 10 white sea bass. Oh, there we go. Got it. I think this is another sea bass, yeah. It's my eighth one. Yeah, I think I caught this one already. A repeat offender. Oh yeah, there we go. Fish on. Yeah, there we go. Number nine. And this is all on the Lucky Craft Flash Minnow 110 Super Glow MSM KB. Oh, what is this? Oh, this is a tiny one. There we go. There we go. Fish number 10. Easy there, tiger. Number 10. Let's go. Yeah, number 11. There we go. You just gotta slow roll that lucky craft. Just slow roll it and keep doing your thing. If a fish is around, looks like they're gonna eat it. Number 11. Thanks for letting me catch you, buddy. Go on and get bigger. Atta boy. That one hit I was right when I said they're, they're hitting it soft. This one comes along and tagged it. That was the hardest hit of the day. Number 12. 
it's getting a little bit dark. The bite has slowed down a little bit. Maybe this can attract a couple more bites. So we're gonna give it a shot. There we go, bite. There we go. Yep, that half mirror glow. It's gotta be working, man. That half mirror glow for sure, man. Cause it was really, I wasn't getting bit at all. And uh, clearly, I think it had an impact. This one's probably over 20. I'm not measuring any of these. Oh, there we go. Right here. What is this? Oh, look at that. And I'm gonna try throwing the Lucky Craft, but it looks, it looks not great. It looks pretty dirty. Maybe it'll get cleans up if you are able to cast a little further out. But we're throwing the Super Glow MVP. I'm on. Small one, but always good to feel the bite. Super small. <laughs> All right. Thanks for letting me catch you, buddy. Spider! So we got a nice little shaker again, really small, but again, we're just fishing really tough conditions, so we'll take anything we can get. Got a little, oh, there we go. Quick release. Does that count? I don't know if that counts. He was up here. <laughs> it's like a 10, 10 inch halibut. Oh, biter! This one feels a little bit bigger. It's not, it's not a big one, but it's bigger than the ones I've been hooking. Had a little bit of a run right there, but he's on his way in now. But I feel him. Small. Phew. So on the Lucky Craft Flash Minnow. Oh, biter! <laughs> oh, he came off. Oh, he's still there. He's still there. He's still there. That's what we say, right? Just keep casting, you never know. Little shorty. It's too, yeah, it's too, it's too nasty in there. Let's go! On the board! Got a little short little halibut. No need to take a picture. We know he's short. There he is right there. Bye bye, he's gone. Oh yeah, baby! Yeah! I've missed so many bites, it's not even funny. And it got kind of hooked all over the place, so I'm gonna try to get a quick release here. All right, so it's actually very low light now. I think this will actually come into play now. What? Oh! Spider on the glow, the half mirror glow. Um, Aurora mackerel, and I think for sure that worked, man. He must have been following that, that trail all the way in. And this is a good perch right here. Yes, sir. Oh, this is a bogger, yeah? On the half mirror glow, Aurora mackerel. And just goes to show you a low light lure. This is a pig. Probably my PB, but I don't feel like putting a tape on him. But man, this is a bogger. Um, on the Lucky Craft, 
And uh, we've been catching a lot of small ones. Just shows you when you use the jerk bait, you get way less bites, but it's worth it when you get it. That was awesome. Fighter! Small, small perch, but third bite. And they're right here, they're slamming it. All right, thanks for letting me catch you, buddy. Go on and get bigger. I got my first striper on, guys. I'm pretty sure it's a striper or a really big perch. Oh, it's just a big perch. <laughs> Dude, it fought so hard. Well, not the one we're looking for, but I'll take it. Oh, this one's big. Okay, he said it's a huge perch. Dude, this thing was fighting like crazy. <laughs> Woo! Oh! Got hooked up on something, guys, on the first cast. This little channel. Striper! Yes! Yeah! Striper! Worked so hard for him. We're gonna get him back in. He's clearly super short. No need for a picture. We'll try to get a bigger one. That was the first cast, so there's gotta be more sitting right here in this hole. Uh, that was the first cast into this hole. So there's got to be more in here, and I know some bigger ones swim through, so we're about to find out. Oh, there we go, second straight cast. Oh, second straight cast. Small, small, small. Get him in, get him out. Got bit by something, guys. Oh, what is this? I thought I lost him. Zebra perch. Wow. Zebra perch are almost always snagged. Hopefully he gets away. I don't know. We'll see. I mean, he's kicking. I got him out in the water pretty fast, but. Oh. Oh. Oh, he's on, he's on, he's on, he's on, he's on. Oh, get the line tight. That was a decent hit. What is this? I'm not anticipating anything, but if it's a halibut, it's gonna be big. I'll tell you that much. Oh, oh, it's a ray, butterfly ray. Yep. Oh, fish on. Fish on, fish on, fish on. My reel's jacked up, so I don't know if I can land these fish. We'll see what this one is. Oh, he's got a little run in him for sure. Yeah, my, my reel's jacked up, so I can't keep my, my line tight. We'll see, Let's see what this one is. I think it's a Corbina, maybe? It's a good fish. What fish is, what, what is this? Sea bass? Spot fin croaker? Sea bass, what? I don't know what it is with me and sea bass this year. I'm catching more sea bass than halibut. This is actually pretty good size. And you can tell sea bass with the zippered belly right there. And obviously they, a lot of times they have stripes. This one doesn't, there's also the black dot. This is actually pretty big. He's nice and healthy.
Suspicion! It's been a long morning guys and this feels like a raid to be honest with you or if it's not it's going to be something really nice. We'll see what it is but been fishing hard today under not the best conditions and we'll see if we can get this whatever this is in and hopefully get some eyes on them. It's fighting like a ray, to be honest with you guys. Um, it's maybe a small array. And if it's not a ray, it's something very large. <laughs> we got to move him forward relatively quickly, so um, let's see what it is. Wow. It's making big old... I don't think it's a ray, guys. This is something big. Oh, it's not a ray. This is a big halibut or something. I just saw the tail. This is large. The biggest croaker. Biggest croaker I've ever seen. PB, gotta be a PB croaker. Oh, the lucky craft flush went to 110. Yeah! Oh, I was like, I thought you were on a raid. Yeah, me too. Oh, that thing's massive. 20, huh? 20. I mean, it's not an accurate measure, but. 20 here, I'll take a picture. So it's not the best measure, guys. The uh, tape's kind of uneven, but. I say it's 20 solid. I can make it look 21 if I wanted, but that's that's 20 easy. Um, on the Flashman 110, guys. Oh, this one's fighting, guys. It's a decent fish. Let's see if we can get him in through the wash here. Maybe a croaker, I don't know what it is, but. Let's see if we can get eyes on him. He definitely has head shakes. Might be a halibut. I don't know. He's still fighting, I feel him. Halibut with a bunch of weeds. <laughs> there, oh, that, that might be illegal. That's close. We'll put the tape on. He's fat. Yeah, it's legal. You want him? Do you want him? You want it? You want the me? Oh, keep it. Yeah, it's 20. Yeah, it's 23, 20, 20, 20, 24. 24. Wow, 24. <laughs> so we got ourselves a little illegal halibut here. And if we do it like the tournament bass way, we got a 24 inch halibut. 